Hi, Rob here. T today I'm laying some pavers to make a step to transition from one level to uh, another level beside my garage. Let me turn the camera around and I'll show you. Uh, a couple years ago, we hired a paver contractor to lay pavers in our front yard. And we ended up having about 20 to 30 leftover that we had paid for. So keep that in mind. And uh, beside our concrete driveway, I laid some gray brick. Uh, we didn't want to do concrete. We wanted something we could remove because we have a French drain under it. So we didn't want anything permanent. Then I have a pressure treated transition board. And then in the next area here, I've got, uh, we got a bunch of red brick. We're gonna put down sand and red brick. This is where we keep our garbage cans and uh, recycle all that. But then back here, we transition to this gravel area that's on top of our French drain. And just FYI, I have a video about removing my uh, garage door and stuccoing. That's in another video. I'll put the link down below this one. So anyway, back to the pavers. In the transition area from the red brick, we need to step up, and it's gonna be about three brick, which is about six, seven inches, and then it will transition to the gravel level. And here's a clean out that I gotta put in for the French drain, but anyway, I'm gonna use the leftover pavers, and then at Lowe's, I got this Loctite landscape construction adhesive. I'm gonna use it. <laughs> Just put a little between uh, each block just to hold it together. They're so heavy, really don't need it, but I figure it never hurts. And Keish, the neighbor's dog, is helping me, barking, barking like crazy. Okay, I'm going to lay a few, then I'll show you what it looks like. The bottom row, I just laid them into a sand bed. I got them all level. And then the second row, like I said, I put some adhesive on the bottom of this block and a little bead next to the house. And then I've got a bead on that block and then uh, the outline for this bigger block I'm gonna set. I'm just gonna repeat the process across and then I'll put the third level. And then when I get over here, I'll use my masonry saw and I'll cut some little pieces to fill in the gap. So we'll have a three block step, which is about, I don't know, seven inches. Be just perfect to transition to this gravel area. I've got the first uh, three rows in place, except for the ones that I have to cut with my masonry saw. I'll do that tomorrow. I don't want to get all messy tonight. But the crazy thing is, the, with this adhesive, the blocks, they were slowly sliding down. So I put some of my excess here just as ballast to hold it in place until the adhesive dries. So to be continued tomorrow. It's the next morning. And I've got the piece of cut, and there's a neighbor's dog. I cut a little piece of cut, this piece cut, I put in a big paver, and then I cut a little piece. And there's Keisha. There's Keisha. I cut the blocks with my Harbor Freight masonry saw. I had to remove the guide because the, the bricks are just too thick, and then I would make two passes. I make one pass, and then I turn it over, make another pass. But as you see, I need to go buy another blade. This blade has wore down probably, I don't know, a quarter, half an inch. But I'll go buy another blade before I cut anything else. So, glue the blocks together, backfill, and steps are complete. I've got the uh, pavers all in place. They've been glued together with the uh, paver adhesive. And then I've backfilled it with the crushed rock which goes on top of the French drain that runs right alongside the house. So now we have a nice transition from the, our brick pavers to step up. It's only four or five inches. So another project. Good luck if you choose to do something similar. To view more of my videos, click here. To be notified when I release a new video, click here to subscribe to my channel.